Creating a multi-step on your workflow design canvas is pretty easy to do. Keep in mind that not all steps are allowed to be grouped together within a multi-step. For instance, you cannot put two task steps together within the same multi-step. In my scenario, I have a basic new hire style application that could cover the interviewing steps with resume review, all the way up to possibly employee onboarding. I want to assign a resume review task to Liesl and Matt from my organization. From there, the workflow originator will want to know when they have completed their review task with an email notification. Also, for auditing purposes, I'd like to write a message to an audit log stating that each of them reviewed an assigned resume. Notice that there is a task step already on the design canvas for this workflow with Matt and Liesl set as task recipients. To create a multi-step, I'll drag a send email step over and hover over this task step. Upon doing that, a box opens with the existing task step listed and allows me to position and drop this email step in either above or below the task step. I'll drop this in just below the task step for now and name it send email task completed. I'll also pull in a smart object method step that writes a simple message to a logging smart object that I created for auditing purposes. Let me grab that from the left side under the smart objects group of options. The reason for this design is to demonstrate what happens in a multi-step scenario using a task step after multiple recipients complete the task they are assigned. To save some time, I will skip ahead and show the configuration of the email notification and smart object method steps rather than walk through the step-by-step -step configuration. The send email step will just send a simple message to the originator of the workflow, letting that person know that the resume has been reviewed by the person assigned to a task. It uses contextual information for the workflow task and step to populate the message based on the recipient completing a task. You can see the fields here from the context browser. Moving down, the smart object step uses the create method for my audit log smart object just to log a simple message to the data source that a person reviewed a job candidate's resume. This solves our auditing requirement in the background. Let's rise up a little bit and look at this from above. The workflow behavior occurs like this. Within multi-steps, the flow of tasks executes from top to bottom sequentially. If you have a user task step mixed with server events like smart object methods and send email steps, the steps that are positioned after the user task step in this example will execute once for each recipient that is required to complete a task. In this example, I have configured the task step to assign both Liesl and Matt tasks for resume review. In the task result rule tab, I also configured it so that we need to have both of them complete their tasks respectively under the consensus setting for the step to be completed. I basically need them both to complete their task assignments in this case. By doing this with the multi-step, let's say Matt completes his task first, upon doing that, the send email step will fire off a message with Matt's contextual information in the message, indicating to the workflow originator that Matt has completed his task. Then the audit log create smart object method will fire and write similar contextual information to my auditing data source about Matt's review. At this point, K2 will wait until Liesl completes her task. At that point in time, the send email step will fire again with Liesl's contextual information and the smart object create method will write Liesl's content to the audit log with information about her task completion as well. From there, the workflow will move on. I won't show a full demonstration, however, skipping ahead and looking at my Outlook inbox, you can see that there are two messages here, one for Matt and the other for Liesl, indicating their tasks were completed. Jumping over to a form for viewing my audit log, notice that there are two log entries with contextual information about each task review as well. Before we finish up, let's go back to the design canvas. Note, you can remove steps from a multi-step by either dragging them out to another location on the design canvas like so, or you can select a step and delete it using your keyboard. For more information on multi-steps, please review the multi-step documentation in the user guide at help.k2.com. And there you can learn more about ordering steps with task steps in the middle or at the bottom of a group of multi-steps, 
You can also nest a multi-step inside another multi-step if necessary.